it may not have been the greatest of games overall but if you were looking for excitement and penalty shootouts yesterday evening i think delivered for you it did a little bit for me and in a way the way i was watching i think i saw a little bit of seven of the eight games which i am somewhat -ish proud of i mean i started with bulgaria and hungary on the main screen bulgaria as i said team where family relations to um, had the big one Norway Sur Serbia on the second screen. Once the Bulgaria game went pear shaped, I put Serbia on the big screen and I put Iceland Romania on the other. Then Iceland Romania finished. I had to put, uh, I think I decided on Slovakia Ireland. And I knew already the scores that uh, there were four games that are going to overtime. And then into penalty shoes sh 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 and then i actually stopped all <laughs> i pulled up all three i stopped them and i watched the penalty shootouts in succession uh first the bosnia one then the uh, irish one and then uh the scotland uh israel one i think i got it all uh so this was my evening let's briefly talk about the games and then how this will end up in the final rounds because we are now the semi-final round bulgaria hungary uh, it's so frustrating <laughs> in many ways i have to say uh, i thought that bulgaria most of the time had co had no, not control but were the more proactive team hungary controlled the game by having possession but not having penetration and they get a really really cheap goal from the first corner uh, I think it comes in from Kalma and then Orban. He's just standing there. He's not picked up. He is not. Uh, he just with his uh, belly just more, uh, more, more or less puts it into the net. The goalie did not look good. The whole Bulgarian defense. I mean, they were just static there. But that gave them a kick up the backside. And I have to say, they really um, try to go forward and create some so, 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 something. The problem is that Hungary has a goalkeeper and Bulgaria did not. Because there was, um, I think, Nedelev with a great header uh, was saved by uh, Gulaci. There was a shot before that. And then, of course, the big one when Cicinho, <laughs> yeah, Brazilian Bulgarian, uh, put a ball in on the side and Kraev wanted to back heel it in just before halftime. And again, Gulaci saves that one. If that goes in, we have a game. But so, in the early in the second half, 47th minute, a free kick to Hungary. Kind of, you know, it was not even uh, close-ish to the box. Kalmar, who actually played for Dunais Castellera, that last beat 7-0, so this was, uh, it just doesn't compute in many ways. He, ta he takes the effort, it's deflected by the wall, but yes, it's a deflection, but it's not so much, and the goalkeeper just is crawling towards and lets it in that more or less settled the game then there was almost a um, penalty given it was taken back by var and then uh, the uh, free kick from Kalaev went over the wall and when Nikolic has it in again free no one there three nil hung hung hungry this is when i said okay that game is done uh actually uh yomov pulled one back very very late on but it was hungary all the way going through um they were playing than the win of iceland romania and full uh, disclosure i was here more for iceland and i'm wearing iceland that's the only team all the other three as you see the, uh, all the other bulgaria uh, that are all eliminated yeah uh bugs me a little bit because i really would like to have uh the dream is, I'm not sure if I will achieve it, I would like to have a jersey from every team that is qualified for the Euros. Um, and of course it would be easier if the teams that I have jerseys of would make it through. I mean, I knew already Bulgaria or Iceland, will uh, one will eliminate the other. But at least I was then hoping for the other. Did not really go this way. Um, here I was definitely for Iceland, not only because of the jerseys, but to be honest, if Romania would make it through, and this is nothing against Romania, I think they have a really interesting young squad, the one that we will hear of in the future. 
Uh, but if they would go through, then Austria would have a much tougher group because then the Romania would be the group and you would have an away game to Romania, um, which I'd rather avoid. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So uh, they were kind of, but you know, I also, also know if the group is too simple, then uh, Austria will also know of making us less time around. Austria had the easiest group of them all and did not even manage a win. So go figure. Um, Romania, again, clearly the technically more gifted team and hence had probably a little bit more of the ball. However, Iceland had Gilfi Sigurdsson, who scored three goals in the first half. The middle one was uh, called off for offside. But with 2 0 at the half, you thought that uh, Iceland was cruising. But then uh, they get a kind of curious late VAR penalty. I think the, the, there was even a chance, uh, the, you know, the, it was an elbow to the face, and I think that's what gave the penalty. Um, after that, Iceland launched a dangerous count, counter attack, but it was called back, and Maxim pulls it back. From the last 15 minutes that I saw, I yes, I saw that Romania had possession, but I always saw Iceland launching counter-attack after counter-attack. Only in the last few few minutes, I think it got desperate for Iceland, but they hang on and move on to the Path A final. Now, Bosnia and Northern Ireland, I really did not see much. I just saw the highlights. Um, I saw that Rada Krunic gave them the lead, uh, that uh, McGinn equalized was probably deserved it. I think they uh, they were giving Bob Bosnia a good fight. Um, Jaco missed the sitter. It wasn't all about the penalty shoot, sure that where the game was headed. Um, and yeah, Bosnia and the uh, playoffs. It, that's not a lot of love there. Pjanic uh, converts the first, but then a high... Hayradinovic and Viska and Hayradinovic was just put on for the penalty shootout. Both uh, missed their penalties. Um, I think Hayradinovic Hay was saved. Uh, Viska puts it over. Then Saville puts it over. There was also third, the third one. Then all the remaining penalties are con converted. And I have to say, this is a shock win for Northern Ireland um, over Bosnia and Herzegovina, who clearly were fancying themselves to move on since they had recently good results against Northern Ireland. Then I was honestly a little bit hoping that Ireland will make it through, but in a game that, yeah, I think in the 90 minutes Slovakia maybe had a little bit more chances, uh, but in overtime it was then Ireland was uh, better, they even hit the post once. And it was in a way, a really crazy penalty shootout because uh, the first four all, all go in, then Haraslin puts his one in. I think that that, that, that was near saved. And then uh, Brown with a relatively bad penalty that's, um, you know, easy, easy save by the goalkeeper. And then when Gregor steps up, he makes a panenka, a high panenka, I have to say. And the goalkeeper, you could see he wanted to go he, he was saying, I said, ah, I might be able to get it, puts it up and it just goes in. And then Doherty puts it onto the bar. And that uh, was the win for Slovakia, who now faces Northern Ireland, which is probably the one game that I would have least expected in the final. But hey, Slovakia uh, and Northern Ireland will probably both fancy their chances. The big one, Norway, Serbia. Uh, and I was expecting a lot from that because I think the teams, it's very in, in, in the with Norway is on the upward trajectory, but maybe not quite there. Uh, the team still needs to gel. And Serbia probably is again on the downward trajectory, but have so many talented players that if they can play together, they can be really a force. And, it's pro and the game showed that Serbia is the more ripe team at the moment still. So while it goes like that, and I would expect uh, in two to four years, we will Norway will surely qualify for a big tournament. Um, it was still the, Serb, the Serbs that were dominating and had many chances. I mean, Mitrovic alone could have made four. Yes, Holland had the occasional chance, and yes, there needed to be some saves made on the, on the Serbian side as well. But overall, this was all Serbia. Uh, Serbia much, much better. And then the big change when Milinkovic Savic came in. And, uh, that, and that's the other thing. Milinkovic Savic can be subbed in 
that's something that Norway does not have yet. Um, the quality and if you just look where the Serbian players are playing, I mean, uh, this is, there's some Serie A All-Stars in there. Um, so, cannot get much better than that. So, and uh, Veliko Vichar comes in for Djuricic and almost immediately really uh, well played goal. It was a free, free kick that Mitrovic deflects back when Savic with probably his first touch, if not the second, uh, puts it into the net. And you think Serbia is going through. Serbia playing by, by, by the way with the white and blue, which I don't mind, but I don't understand the greenish, yellowish dots in there. But hey, uh, the jerseys actually looked uh, all right. And I'm thinking, uh, Norway's jerseys look rather boring. Yes, they have the pattern on the side from the flag, but I, I would have expected a little bit more. However, Norway gets the equalizer through Norman, who just runs and takes a shot, uh, goes through everyone, <laughs> the rolls into the net. Uh, and I thought maybe this might crack Serbia because the Norwegians, uh, that was rather unexpected. I have a, a second um, in overtime, second half, overtime, uh, already, uh, I think it was um, uh, Lazovic exactly, who hit the post. And then a minute later, uh, another attack coming all over the red. Lazovic play, play plays in uh, it. The ball goes to Tadic, who has the oversight to see that on the left side, Milinkovic Savic is coming. And with the sweetest of touches, he lobs it into the net. Uh, wonderful goal. The more second minute. Um, and um, no, I was about to say Serbia hangs on to that actually had more chance. I mean, yes, in, in the end, there was a little bit, a few nerves, nervy moments, but I think overall Serbia got a very, very deserved win and moves on. It has now a home game against the win of Scotland, Israel, which was probably the most boring game with hardly any shot and goal. Very late, uh, I think Sean Weissman, if he connects, could have made a goal for Israel and then uh, a header from McTominay, I think in the first, first and very late, there was, but Scotland didn't have a shot on goal, as far as I know. But they were very good in the penalty shoot. McGinn's penalty shoot should have been saved. I mean, it's made under the goal, goalkeeper kicked it in. And then Sahavi, pretty bad penalty, you know. Low, not high that the goalkeeper can save it. And that's uh, saved. And then all the others convert and Scotland is through. And has to play now Serbia, so, so where they will be huge outsiders, I would imagine. I saw, as I said, a little bit of Georgia Bella Belarus. The penalty in the seventh in seventh minute, well, yeah, he was pushed over. Georgia had more of more of the game. Belarus just couldn't find much in them in, in itself to really challenge Georgia. So Georgia moves through uh, rather comfortably. And then Northern Macedonia and the Kosovo. Uh, the first goal was an own goal uh, after Ristovski uh, shot for North Macedonia. Then in the 29th, the goalkeeper of, of the Macedonians, uh, you know, he goes out, he sees here, I'm on the box, lets the ball fall, the defender is not really there, and they are very tentative, and the ball goes to uh, Hader Gionje, and he lobs it into in, in the internet. But a few minutes later, Wilkowski gives Northern Macedonia the lead, who then in the second half just hang on and gives another big win for them. So we have now in the playoff finals, uh, paths A and B are played late on Thursday, 12th of November, whereas the other are played early at 6 o'clock. So have that in mind. Um, Hungary, Iceland in path A, Northern Ireland, Slo I would actually favor Hungary in that one. Northern Ireland, Slovakia, that's an even matchup. That's Slovakia in a way. Serbia, Scotland should be all Serbia. Uh, honestly, in Georgia, North Macedonia, to the home field of I would give it to Georgia, but those are the four games. Let me know what you saw from these games. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.